use your God power to get everything you ever wanted and live the life of your dreams. The Master's Course. Copyright 2010 by Richard Lee McKim Jr. All rights reserved. Let the quest for knowing begin. Okay, let's look at this illustration. Normal reality. You have the physical meaning of the person's body. That's her body. Then you have the physical meaning that a body requires food and water to survive. Then you have the physical meaning that there was no food and no water. What would be the result of that normal reality? The physical meaning result would be woman dies in agonizing death. That's normal reality. However, we have God power exercised by her own belief. We have the physical meaning of the body. That's the same. Then you have her God power meaning, her thought meaning, that the body does not require food and water to survive. She helped out this other monk by transferring his throat disease to herself. Now that in itself is a feat. Can you imagine saying, I'm going to take that disease from you so you don't have to have it. And I'm going to hold on to that disease for you because I can handle it. That's what she did. She suddenly came down with the throat disease. He suddenly healed. So now, because she's got this throat disease, which was a really nice thing for her to do, but now she can't eat or drink because of the problem with her throat, right? So what does she do? Now she says, okay, since I can't eat or drink, I'm just not going to have to. So she has the thought, Bodies do not need to require food and water to survive. And you know what? She was right. I don't know if she knew it, but obviously she did. She knew she could do it because otherwise she wouldn't have lived. She wouldn't have survived. But the body is a representation. How is it that a, that's like your avatar in Second Life? It doesn't have to eat. I mean, you could have a system set up where it could go to make-believe restaurants in the, in the virtual world and and make believe it is ingesting food and all that, but it wouldn't have to. It's just pixels. It doesn't have to eat. It's, it's just a representation. Nothing can happen to it. Then go back to the illustration here. You have the physical meaning that she didn't have food or water, but that doesn't matter. Because she had the meaning that she didn't have to, the fact that she didn't is meaningless. She doesn't have to, so what if she does or doesn't? It doesn't matter. Because she doesn't have to. So what happens? woman lives easily lives and functions normally for 35 years. Here it says the ability has been elicited and activated in her own life experience. The green tuning fork vibrations are high frequency meanings and they resonate and elicit all things that will match them. So she's striking her tuning fork, sending out the vibration that I don't have to have food to survive. So whatever it takes, whatever her body has to do to be able to survive without food and water, that's what it does. That's what she elicits. Now, the thing about it is they mentioned that she had stigmata. What is that? Stigmata is the, the situation where you have wounds like Christ. So I think once a week, her wounds would open up and her hands and, uh, and her feet and blood would pour forth. So during this whole time, she was losing tons of blood. But then they would heal up and she would lose weight because she's losing blood. But then suddenly her weight would return. Hmm, how could that happen? She wasn't drinking any fluids. She wasn't eating any food. How could she bleed all this time for 35 years and still have the right amount of blood in her body? That's simple. They said she was materializing the blood. I guess technically she was. But the bottom line is the reason why she was materializing it is because she had a meaning that she could bleed like that and it would be fine. So... She was eliciting whatever it took. So if her body was making blood and materializing water, and uh, but the thing about it is the body doesn't need nutrients. I mean, 
you don't have to materialize water. You don't have to materialize food because the body doesn't have to have that to survive because it's just a representation. If she believed that her body needed the nutrients to survive, then it would have to be materializing water and nutrients in order for it to survive. If she believed that her body didn't even need that, then it wasn't materializing those things. It didn't have to. It materialized more blood because it kept pouring blood out every week. So it materialized more blood, but I doubt very seriously that she was actually materializing any kind of nutrients in her body because she already established by meaning, by God power, that it wasn't required for her to have nutrients. She didn't have to have that to live. So it was no need to go through with the charade of materializing nutrients within her body to take care of the organs and uh, the cells and whatnot because it wasn't needed. If she believed she needed it and she believed that she was materializing it, then she'd be portraying a charade, which is fine. I, I need it, but I know that I can materialize it. Then that's how it happened. But she just shortcutted the whole thing by just saying, it's not necessary. I don't even need it. And so guess what? By God power, by meaning, she didn't need it. Does this meet our definition of reality? Remember that we said, let's call reality that which someone can experience. If someone can experience it, it's reality. Her condition was proved and witnessed by professional people, and her case is not the only one. This was real for her. It was her reality. Well, I've really thrown one at you now. Not eating or drinking for 30 years? That's crazy, isn't it? Is it crazy? It is crazy if you are an animal because you would be dead very quickly. And frankly, most of the human population who subscribe to a normal reality would have perished. However, it is not only possible, but it makes perfect sense when you realize that our bodies are only representations, images, and cannot be killed or injured unless we agree to it and believe it. She used her own God power to change the meaning of eating and drinking. The normal meaning of living in a physical body is you must eat and drink water to nourish your cells and body in order to live. But I ask you, does the characters on the holodeck in Star Trek have to eat and drink to survive? No. However, the program could be set to mimic reality, and if they didn't eat the representative food and water, then their representative bodies would experience and represent a decreased vitality, etc., until death was represented. That would make it realistic, but not real in the truest sense. Options. Now activating the next video play options. One moment please. Click on the green arrow to start watching the next video. Or click on the red arrow to start watching the prior video. Or click on the tan arrow to go to the main course menu and guide. With links to all course chapters, excerpts, and special reports. Up next, special video options. Click on your choice of course videos, menus, and excerpts. Now switching to the special video options menu and activating the video selection buttons. Click on your selection number to start watching the video. Fifteen seconds till we switch to the next page with a free download information. Pause the video now if you need more time to review the available selections.
This is the end of this course video. Its video number is listed above. To watch the next video, simply click on the next video in number sequence. Thank you.